luxury sports car buyers traditionally sold on the charms of a Mercedes SL will certainly be sold on this much improved Mark VI model. They'll like the lithe proportions and deft detailing, the powerful engines and the luxurious technology. It's more important though to consider whether the changes made here will widen this classic model's customer audience. More sophistication when it comes to transmission and drive dynamics certainly means it has more to offer. It's a special car, as every SL should be. The sixth generation SL is a more sophisticated thing than most of its predecessors thanks to lightweight aluminium underpinnings and in this improved guise the car gets some extra technology that does quite a bit to improve the driving experience. Uh, standard models, namely the 367 brake horsepower V6 SL400 we're trying here or the 455 bhp V8 SL500 get a smoother, more efficient 9G Tronic Plus 9-speed automatic gearbox which helps improve improve running costs that see the SL400 manage 36.7 miles per gallon on the combined cycle and 175 grams per kilometre of CO2. This transmission shift ratios are one of the parameters that can be tweaked by a dynamic select, a driving mode system that represents the other key addition to this SL's road-going repertoire. As with most such setups, this one also allows you to alter the steering feel, the throttle response, stability control thresholds and the settings of the suspension, all to better suit the way that you want to drive. If we were buying, we'd want to look at a pricey option offered on standard models, the active body control with curved tilting function package. Now this gives you active suspension that automatically adapts to your speed and the way you want to drive. Plus, through the corners, the setup will proactively lean the car into the bend, reducing body roll and pressing you down into your seat, roller coaster style. Even without the tilting technology, an SL is a more involving thing than a rival BMW 6 Series or Maserati Grand Cabrio would be, thanks to feel some steering and assured traction aided through the corners by standard torque vectoring. And of course, it'll be very fast in a straight line, especially if you opt for one of the top Mercedes AMG models, the 5.5 litre V8 powered uh, 585 brake horsepower SL63, or the flagship 6 litre V12 engine 630 bhp um, SL65. As for the clever Vario roof with its electrically folding metal panels, well, that's still something that sets this SL apart from almost every other rival in this segment. Its operation has been made more user-friendly in this revised SL, though it remains slightly annoying that in contrast to ragtop rivals, you have to stop before the mechanism will work. <laughs> Still, you can now work it at speeds of up to 25 miles an hour and the whole process takes only 18 seconds from start to finish. And once all the panels have slotted Swiss Army knife style into place, there's the folding hardtop advantage of greater roof-up refinement than a fabric convertible could ever provide. If you know anything at all about this car, you'd recognise one without the badge work, admiring perhaps the way that the grille has been positioned to visually lengthen that bonnet, or the shoulder lines that rise from the headlamps and stretch like tensed muscles along the bodywork into the taillights. All of this is as it was in the original version of this R231 6th generation SL. And what's changed with this revised model is the front end, now far more elegant and imposing. Mercedes legendary 300 SL Pan America racing car provided the inspiration for this more steeply raked diamond style radiator grille with its chrome plated louvre and dual like chromed pins. At the wheel, few changes have been made over the original version of this 6th generation SL, but, but then few were needed. As with other Mercedes models, influences have been drawn from the world of aviation, with gorgeous uh, jet turbine style air vents uh, dominating a wing-shaped dash, with a centre console modelled on the flight deck of an aircraft. Unlike the close-fitting cockpit you get in an SLC or an AMG GT, this cabin offers plenty of space to spread out, thanks to the general increase in size of this Mark VI design. 
Dating the dash slightly is the relatively small 7-inch size of the Command Online colour infotainment screen, along with the fact that the cabin lacks the mouse-style controller you'll find in more recently designed Mercedes models. Functionality instead delivered by this old-style uh, swivelling rotary controller down by the gear stick. Still, at least the command setup is now standard across the range, offering some classy vehicle parameter displays and fully integrated with the Apple CarPlay system, which will be welcome news for iPhone users. In summary, what we have here is an enduring but very modern take on luxury sports car motoring. And a model that's every inch a classic Mercedes-Benz.